Hello, this is Chris from GrowQuest, late April 2010, and with the shipping season well underway at this point, we still continue to get a lot of questions about the shipping ferry. The shipping ferry is that imaginable figure that gets the box from me to you at next to nothing. I don't know where the proverbial shipping ferry arises from. It could be advertisements with free shipping. There is never anything such as free shipping. There's just shipping that's incorporated into your product price at some place. Or the product is so small that the shipping costs next to nothing. That is typically not the case with the things you're asking us to send you. And to keep that in mind, we've got a variety of boxes here since it was a very busy uh, Monday and most of the stuff still inside the storage locker. But as an example, the shipping ferry cannot get you a 36 inch tree rose this time of year to the East Coast for $10 not even probably twenty dollars right here we have a 16 candles 36 inch tree rows this time of year all the tree roses are in pots and uh, got lots of blooms coming out we will cut this back fairly hard if requested put it into a three gallon or five gallon nursery box or pot and it'll get put into a box like this right here about four feet and a few inches tall. This box, shipped anywhere in the West, will cost about 20 bucks. That box shipped in the Midwest, be in the mid to low 30s. That box shipped to New York or the very East Coast, Northeast, probably getting in about $40 to help out with some information and pricing there. In the background we have of course a 60 inch china doll I'll move this box aside here we have a customer that requested four of these be sent to her very nice home in Oregon that 60 inch china doll box there is approximately 10 by 10 by 86 inches tall to the Oregon that'll run about $50 the Midwest about yeah, 65 70 dollars and the very far east coast coming in right around the high 80s maybe even pulling a strong 90 dollars but that's what you're asking us to do send a very tall tree rose a long distance or in the case of this lady a shorter distance shipping rates are based upon the length or height of the package and the distance it's going to travel to a few extra pounds here or there doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Which is where we get to some of the potted roses people are asking for. Beautiful Leonidas blossom here. A little black bacara action going on. Okay, so a person has several of these going to their home in Pennsylvania. Wanted one plant per box. That large Leonidas shipped to Pennsylvania. You're going to set her back probably about 25 $28 a box. This box in the West Coast going to run about $16 to $20. That box to the Northeast, I'm going to be pulling $32 maybe. Maybe a little in the high 20s. The alternative is to take this nice beautiful Leonidas and turn it into this much smaller cut back version. Still a strong healthy plant. It's just going to be about two months further behind. Once you get it into your garden, it's going to start throwing up new growth and flowers right away. We can get that plant to the northeast for about $18. And you're going to cut your shipping charges by a third. Sometimes we can get two to four of these plants in a box. And again, the shipping ferry is not working here at GrowQuest. We do our best job possible to uh, get the plant material very well packed and transported to you for the least amount possible. Well, because we want you to buy as many plants as possible. Here's a nice, attractive five gallon standard lemon Meyer tree. It's actually a couple of these being sent to New York today. 
small fruit, flowers, nice strong four foot tree. Again, to get this nice lemon Meyer standard, as young as it is, but still well fruiting and flowering, the New York's going to run about $40, $42 for the box. It was put in a number three nursery pot to save some money on dirt and weight. But again, height the box or length the box and distance traveled. Here's a five gallon olive tree in the back. Same thing. Plants about four feet tall. You know, in the western U.S., going to be in the mid 20s, all the way to the northeast, southeast, high 30s, low 40s. You know, these lower boxes here have five gallon rose plants in them that have been cut back. Again, we can leave the flowers on it, like this Leonidas box here, or we can cut it back. If we cut it back, we're saving you a lot of money. However, if you need to make a display right away, you may wish to leave the flowers on. So in conclusion, if you're worried about the 